Good morning everyone. Welcome to Aokigahara Jukai, the famous sea of trees at the foot of Mount Fuji. Just going out on a little morning constitutional. It's been a long time since I've been here because, well basically Corona has had me not traveling. So it's been a while and basically today I want to take a walk, enjoy the forest a little bit and actually address a somewhat serious topic that has been commented on again and again on my videos about Aokigahara. That comment I've frequently been getting on my other Aokigahara videos, which I will link to those videos in the description below if you haven't seen them, but a bunch of people have commented, boy, wouldn't Aokigahara be a great place to hide a body? I guess if you're a murderer or you're connected to organized crime or something like that. So that's actually what I'd like to talk about in this video. So let's get on the trail. Before we get started, please offer a small gift to the like button, but be sure to say Tsumananai mono desu ga, which is basically a humble way of saying it's not a very special gift here, it's just a little something. And take a moment to say Otsukare sama to the subscribe button. Otsukare sama means you must be very tired from all your hard work. With that out of the way, Let's get on to the topic itself. This idea that this forest would be a great place to hide the evidence of your crime if you killed someone or you're in the mafia or whatever. I'm actually going to give you three reasons that I think are pretty compelling as to why this would be a terrible place to leave a body. The first is, this is actually a pretty well-traveled forest. You have people hiking through here all the time You've got actual guides who bring people in. People come here to explore the caves. You've got people who come in here for bird watching or people like my friend Chris, who is in my other video, who as he puts it, is in here romping around every single weekend. So you're more likely to run into some potential witnesses, let's say, than if you went off into the mountains to some random access road that hasn't been used in decades, that, you know, you're not likely to run into anyone. Out here, you're more likely to run into people who might remember you or remember your car. Not to mention that the police actually do patrol. They drive along the roads around Aokigahara and the roads are pretty well traveled. Like, yes, this is, yes, this is the countryside, but they're pretty well traveled roads and they make note of vehicles that are off to the side of the road or, you know, sitting at the trailheads because they are on the lookout for potential suicide uh, seekers. And it's entirely possible they've taken a note of my license plate already. They've driven past where I parked my car and took note of my Yokohama plates. At any rate, just too many people, too many possible witnesses. And there's cameras at access points to the roads. So there might even be video footage of you as you bring your evidence in. Now that leads to the second point, and that is evidence. 
If you're a criminal, I think you're probably pretty keen that the evidence of your crime is never discovered. Again, the reason why you probably want to go up an old abandoned access road in the mountains in the middle of Nagano or something as a better choice than Aokigahara. Because, again, just a lot of people, a lot of people wandering through this forest, people who do look for bodies in here, sweeps that they do, etc. Your evidence is more likely to be found. So, yeah, they'll, they'll find the body, the police will go about identifying it, etc, etc. So if you really want your evidence to stay lost forever, this is probably not the best place. Which leads naturally to the third and I think most compelling point, which is, I guess, maybe why people make the comment that they do about this being a great place to hide a body. I feel like they imagine a situation like the police inspector is sitting in his office and he calls out, he says, Ah, uh, hey, uh, Suzuki-kun, uh, where did you say the body was found? Aokigahara? Aokigahara, suicide, case closed. Pff, that was easy. Yeah, no, I don't think that's how it works. In fact, I know that's not how it works. When a body is found, the police come out with their whole investigative team. They've got a photographer, they've got their forensic guys, they're going to identify the victim. They're going to check for any signs of foul play. They do a full investigation. You see, the police are neither lazy nor are they stupid. They are going to investigate a body that's found. And if they identify the body as someone who is apparently maybe disappeared under suspicious circumstances or it's, uh, you know, there's clearly signs of some kind of violence on the body itself, they are going to investigate. And again, the body is more likely to be found in Aokigahara. They do investigate everybody as a potential crime. So yeah, between those three things, one, too many possible witnesses, two, the likelihood of your evidence being found, and three, the fact that once found, the police will investigate it as a possible crime. I think are pretty good reasons why Aokigahara is not the best place to hide a body. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Maybe you completely disagree. It seems to be a pretty compelling thought for people that this would be a good place to do that sort of thing. Frankly, I disagree for the reasons I've mentioned, but let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please look for my other content. I put out a Japan society, life, and culture video every single Friday. I've been living here for over 15 years, so I think I have a pretty unique take on living in Japan. So please look for my past content and my future content every single week. Thank you so much again for watching this particular video, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>